Hi, my name is Austin Comer Smith, and I'm going to be talking to you about Cavern Security Platform and what we do. Cavern is the only organization that delivers cyber posture intelligence for the hybrid cloud by providing real time risk and cyber security posture management, continuous compliance, and by integrating security into DevSecOps. The Cavern platform combines automated discovery, infrastructure risk scoring, predictive analytics, and intelligent remediation to help organizations of all sizes leverage the cost savings and agility of the cloud without increasing operational risk or reducing their security posture. The company's solution, through a process of continuous improvement, helps hybrid environments to leverage the cost savings and agility of the cloud without increasing operational risk or reducing their security posture. So what does all that mean in a nutshell? Cybersecurity posture is something that Cavern has come up with, and it consists of two main areas, security and compliance. Security meaning how secure is the environment, what type of access do the individual's users have, are we using MFA, and compliance, are we meeting the requirements set by the industry standard frameworks, HIPAA, NIST, GDPR is a hot topic as it's due to hit this month, May 26th. And a vast variety of others. So let's give uh, give you a kind of a scenario here. This this dashboard that I'm showing you today, uh, with the cyber process secure and the security compliance on the right and left, will be used by C-level employees. So say for example, you got a CISO out at a baseball game, so to speak. And this is a simulated data that we have here as it toggles back and forth. But the CISO is at a baseball game in the suite and we're talking about security. And then he gets a little concerned about the state of his environment. The CISO will be able to go to an app, log into this platform, and know exactly what's going on inside his environment. He can look at his cyber posture score and get a detailed idea of how secure or not secure or how much of a risk his environment is. And here with a high risk of 82, he knows that there's some serious things going on. And you can look anywhere in the world and then see exactly what's going on with this particular environment. So, for example, if he were to look into the Middle East, for example, he'll be able to see that he has a score of 85 in the Middle East. And if he clicks on that, he can look at a wide variety of cloud platforms we're going to go into in greater detail. But he can look at his AWS, on-prem, Docker, GCP, and Azure and know what each environment is doing, how detailed or secure each individual environment. So let's click on GCP here. And now we're into the policy packs themselves. And he can look at these and say, hey, I'm having an issue with HIPAA. And if I click on HIPAA, it'll show the operating systems that are at high risk and in, clearly in violation of the HIPAA policy that's been selected. So now he's concerned and say, listen, I got a bunch of machines that are high risk. And he calls the security team and says, hey, listen, guys, what's going on? I'm getting some alerts if he has them set up. And I know that I'm at high risk in the Mac OS or Ubuntu environment. And then the security team could take over from there. And here's the platform platform itself. The security team can log into the infrastructure and look at the dashboard and, and navigate around where the trouble points are on behalf of the CISO and get back to him. So let's look at the policy packs, for instance. That's the hot topic of what Cavern does in general. So what Cavern is showing here, the Cavern platform are the 21 policy packs I mentioned to you prior, SOC 2, AWS, some hardening policies that Cavern has created itself. And here in green, we'll have some custom policies that have been created, and we'll cover that a little bit later in the demonstration. But here's CIS, AWS. Uh, some CIS Docker policies, CIS Google Chrome pack, and CIS Kubernetes policy pack, which again, we developed specifically to scan at the Kubernetes engine on GCP and the CIS Microsoft Azure Cloud policy pack, uh, Azure partnership with us to develop this policy framework for their environment, DISA, GDPR, HIPAA, ISO, NIST, and PCI. So let's look at the GDPR, being that it's a hot topic, we can see that the policy pack comes directly from the General Data Protection Regulation Authority. 
And that's where we get our frameworks from. And this particular policy, they're 4,419. Let's take a closer look. So here I can see personal data access controls, security controls. These are all measured that are covered in the actual GDPR compliance component. And so if I clicked on any one of these, I can determine that the weight, the severity, description, rationale, audit, and the key here, the remediation. We don't fix these things for you, but we tell you what the description is, the rationale, what's being audited, and what you have to do to remediate, fix, or correct these particular instances that are in violation. The benchmark and, of course, the references comes from the authority itself. So going back to my dashboard, let's show how these things can be uh, integrated. So if I go into Discover and Access, what I'll show here is the different cloud environments that can be discovered. Your AWS, your Google Cloud, and Microsoft and Azure environments. So we also can do on-prem. If we do a starting IP address and ending the same, we're going to scan one machine. We do a range, we'll scan many. And for Docker, we put in the image and the usernames and password. Again, if we come back here, we'll also see that if I'm in the cloud, I not only can just scan in the cloud, but I can do instances itself, containers, and or clusters. So from, from the on-prem, same thing. I can do instances, containers, or clusters. And here, what I show down here is the resource credentials. You can put in resource credentials um, for these individual resources that you're going to gain access to, and you can select one or many. So you can um, determine whether or not the machines that you're scanning against are going to be able to be accessed. So you can select a variety of different credentials for the variety of different types of instances that you may or may not need. And you can also manually put in any additionals here if you did not wish to store those resource credentials. So once you do that, you select the policy packs, which we just covered, and then you end up scheduling the assessments. Now when you get into the scheduling assessments, the scheduling of the assessments could um, go from setting alerts when it begins, ends, fails, or aborted, and you can be notified email, Slack, or pager, pager duty. And the assessment scheduling can go out daily, weekly, monthly, or you can do a custom. Okay? So there also a, a great feature is that you can now put your resources into groups. So you don't have to scan the entire infrastructure. You can select um, different types of individual scans and put them into a particular group and scan a wide range of individual sections of your environment and not have to scan the entire environment if you just wanted to pinpoint a specific area. And far as the cloud access, how do we access the clouds? Well, the cloud types are accessed in their own various ways as they all differ quite a, quite a bit. And in AWS, we're gonna use the IAM role, ARM role, or access and secret key. With the Azure, we're going to require whichever type of cloud credential, subscription, application IDs, or application key or tenant ID. And here are the listed steps you need to do to configure the Azure platform. And Google, we're going to use P12 or JSON. And you can enter the service account or you can up, uh, up and update the service account key. Okay. And from that perspective, Again, you have the wide range of scan, scanning the cloud environments connected to them. We're gonna do a read-only scan of the cloud environments, bring that read-only scan into the environment and compare them against the vast uh, number of 21 policy packs we have based on the ones you choose. Now, a lot of customers ask, hey, is there an agent? Where do the agents have to be installed in our infrastructure? The wonderful additional difference other than being able to scan hybrid, meaning on-prem and in the cloud, the Cavern platform and Cavern solution does not require an additional agent causing additional traffic in your environments. Cavern solution is agentless. So basically, all we need, other than the uh, access credentials, we're going to need a few ports open that you're pretty much probably already going to be, already be using. On the Linux Unix side, you're already going to be using port 22. And on the Windows side, we're going to need 
5985 and port 135. And the Windows R, WinRM should be enabled and all three components of the Windows RM should be enabled and running to enable and give access. And port 8080, obviously, so the Cavern platform can connect <clears throat> outwards to finish the completion of the scan. So very minimal ports that need to be accessed, 443, 8080, <clears throat> and those standardized ports. So with that being said, it's hybrid, agentless, and the scans that we're getting are read-only and are coming in and comparing against the policy packs, all to give you, as we saw here on the dashboard, your overall current score. Now, the final two, three areas I want to touch on is the custom policies. As mentioned, if you have a Cavern offers over 85,000 policies, so if you wanted to scan just a abbreviated portion of that, you can select from various different policy types and customize your own individual scan for whatever you wanted to, 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 to get a score against in your particular infrastructure. Now, let's talk about the reporting. So once you've done a scan and it's completed and comes back successfully, you're going to get a report. And it's for the DevSecOps team. Say, for example, I did a HIPAA policy pack scan and I got a score of 58. And I wanted to look at this particular instance here and I click on this instance in specific, and I wanna know failures that are high risk. I can even isolate that to failures and severity of high risk. And it goes in and tells me every high risk failure that I have in my environment. And for the DevSecOps, which they appreciate again, is something you saw similar in the policy pack section, but this is the weight, severity, description rationale, what's being audited, and the remediation, of course, with the references. And then the DevSecOps can choose to use an automated a tool that they may already have in their environment, Chef and Ansible. And if they had either one of these tools, they can utilize one of these tools to automate the correction of this particular area that needs to be fixed and correct in the specific environment. Now, no, we don't fix these individually at Cavern, but we do make it easier for the DevSecOps team to get these things uh, corrected. Now, one thing we will have added at a later date are tools for Puppet and SaltStack. But currently, these are the two options that we're gonna be offering today, okay? Now, once you do make those remediations, you'll see your score improve from a 64 to get higher. 64 is a medium, and the closer you get to 100%, you'll start to get into the green section, and again, you'll know at all times on the fly exactly what your cybersecurity posture score is. And last but not least, we have audits. And audits comprise the two main areas. We have the different types of alerts that you can set, the uh, areas and criteria, severity, low, medium, high, descriptions, the cloud accounts that you want, your rule types. And again, they can go out, email, page, or duty, or Slack. And again, alerts can be set up on the fly as you need them or not. It's not a requirement. And the last area of alerts I want to talk about are the integrations. The tools that we're integrated with are PagerDuty, Slack, Jira, and ServiceNow. So again, if you notice something, you got a score, and you wanted to send an alert based on that scan, what the score is directly to Jira, and the Jira request can go to the DevOps, DevOps team, and they know, hey, listen, we got an issue. Got to uh, automate that and get it fixed. And ServiceNow is, is another great feature where it could be added in there and be selected into a service now workflow to be automated to be corrected somehow uh, all these wonderful things that be, can be added into the platform based on user needs and use case the dashboard gives you a, a wide variety of viewpoints again uh, you can look at a wide exposure of you know top issues you can also click on a feature here if you wanted to improve your uh, score to 100 percent uh, you can download the specific steps you would need to improve your score to 100%. And then you also can look at a nice, uh, if I was talking about this HIPAA policy, again, I can figure out which individual machine was the actual culprit for violating a specific uh, policy in general. So I can see that this these particular integrity is being violated by this this number of machines in the environment here and I can get an idea of which machines are in specific violation of, of, of which policies in the environment. So it gives you an overview, and all these things compiled together help to improve and increase your security 
posture score. So with this in mind, this is how Cavern gives you the overall overview of your cyber composite score, helps the DevSecOps team automate these improvements that can be made. And I thank you for spending this time with me today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. We, we'd love to talk to you more about the solution. Thanks. Have a great day.